The right shoulder is crucial to unlocking your golf swing. Let's get to it. The right shoulder has a misconception of most golfers out there that the right shoulder should not move forwards. We believe that if we keep the right shoulder back, it will give us the opportunity to hit from the inside and hit that baby draw. But then we also get, well, a draw these days is far too inconsistent. We hit too much bend to the left. So we've gone from being a nation of trying to hit draw to now all of a sudden everybody is trying to, trying to hit fade. So when you are understanding what this right shoulder needs to do to create good mobility in your golf swing, the first thing that a golfer will try to do is hold his right shoulder back. And I even saw uh, on Instagram <clears throat> a video of Tiger Woods explaining his iron swing. And in his iron swing, he was talking about keeping his back to the target and moving the handle down. Moving the handle down. As he was demonstrating his moving handle down, his right shoulder was coming forwards. But of course, we get caught up in the fact feel and real, all that nonsense, that the right shoulder should stay back, it should not move forwards. What I want you to do is think about if we lifted the golf ball from on the floor to being up in the sky. If the golf ball is on this plane, as I pull my golf club to hit that golf ball, my right shoulder would move forwards, I would move my handle forwards, I would pull on the golf club and what I would then do is make the golf club swing around and clip the golf ball. Therefore, we must understand that the golf swing that's pitched on this plane, this is where the ground would be. Now when I move the club away from the high tee and I now move the circle down at this plane, with the club head on the floor, the very same mechanics need to be when I'm pulling on the handle, when I'm moving the shoulder forwards. Of course, we understand that in a golf swing, we do not one plane the arm swing. We do not keep the hands on a single plane. We do have arm lift, and it's the gap between the bottom where we set up and where we are at the top, arm lift. This gap in here is ultimately the down of the golf swing. And this bit is the around. Yet everybody wants to focus on this small gap here that we need to make up. Understand that the gap that you need to concentrate more on is moving the handle from here over to here, and how you understand the handle moves from the upper plane to the lower plane, that small gap in here. And the most tricky part is getting the handle to come down and lining the face back up. And if you haven't seen it, my ultimate ball striking video, thumbnail and link up in the top right hand corner of the screen is an absolute doozy to go and watch, blow your mind. Understanding, therefore, that this right shoulder on this plane absolutely has to come forwards. Understand that if I was to get right shoulder back and try to strike that golf ball, can you see where the handle and the head would be in a whole world of pain? So we've ditched the high tee and got back onto the floor. And I want you to take the golf club in your right hand put the left hand and put the back of the left hand on the right elbow. Put the golf club so the toe of the club is on the inside of the golf ball. And then what I want you to do is go up to the top of the backswing. This left hand is only there so that your left shoulder comes along for the right. Because it's so easy for a golfer, as soon as I put the club in one hand, they start making swings like this, and all of a sudden their right arm has moved independently of their torso. So I put their left hand, back of the left hand on the right elbow, now I make a golf swing, and now all of a sudden I've got my chest in good orientation with the handle. 
And what I want you to start to feel is how the handle is going to move forwards. Can you see how my right shoulder has moved forwards? Now, all of you out there, can you tell me, is the club head outside the ball line or is it inside the ball line? Yeah, it's inside, isn't it? So I've moved the handle forwards and the club head is not outside the ball line, is it? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now unload the club head. Is the club head outside the ball line now? Yes, it is. Now, the more a golfer tries to keep the handle back and the shoulder back, is the club face looking more to the right now or is the club face looking less to the right now? So I've now moved more around the golf ball and the face has gone from being mighty open, almost pointing back at you at the camera, hand, shoulder forwards, handle forwards, and now all of a sudden the face has actually come more around the ball. At this point, it's looking at you. At this point, it's actually looking at the wall. So by simply moving the handle around, all of a sudden I've started to square the face up. And at that point, now when I move the pressure down through the handle, you can start to see how that club still does not ever swing outside the ball line. So this right shoulder moving more forwards will really start to give you a feeling of how you start to open up your chest. But not only that, it will facilitate more lag in your downswing. I know lag, oh goodness me, I've never been able to get lag all of, this, all of the time I've tried to work from the inside. If you were to lag the club and hold the shoulder back, you would miss the golf ball every single time. So all of a sudden, moving the handle with more energy moving forwards gives us the opportunity to create some lag and load in the golf swing so that you can then start to work on some pressure down through strike that allows you to get force on the ball, line the path up, get the face close to the path with a nice angle of attack. So the right shoulder and the left foot, the left hip, talk to each other because if my right shoulder is moving forwards, the left hip is moving back. When I work with people, I had a client in yesterday and we were talking about this and a prolific inside outer. And I'm gonna show you a couple of images on the screen before and after. Enjoy those as I'm talking here. Where he was moving the handle forwards and because he had worked so hard at staying shut to the target, he'd move his handle forwards and keep his hip line shut. And I'd say square your knee line up. But because he's trained himself so much at killing off his leg action to get the club inside, to try to hit inside out, shanks were his name of the game and a lack of power. So understanding that when you are then moving this handle forwards, moving the right shoulder forwards, we need to make sure that we feel like the left hip can start to open up and unravel as well. Now it feels like, oh my God, the club is so far outside. Yeah, but then when you put pressure on the handle, all of a sudden that golf club drops itself down, works from the inside. Let me do that again, trap man didn't get that. Let me do that again because I know you'll all be wanting to see what the data was on that one. There's the handle forwards. Then I'm gonna go down with the handle and strike. And now all of a sudden I get more from the inside at five degrees, 4.5 degrees, I'm down at six degrees and face is square to the path. If you're tired of paying too much for premium leather golf gloves, do head over and check out my channel sponsor, GX Golf Gloves. These gloves are trusted by elite amateurs and tour players alike. Use my code, good coaching, to receive 10% on your next order. The right shoulder is a massive mobilizer of your hip action. If you get your right shoulder forwards, if you move it forwards and you start to get some activation through your left foot, you'll really start to sense how that lead foot that is firing the force from toe to heel, how the right shoulder is moving forwards will really start to give you some good speed around the golf ball and it'll really start to get you from the inside and down. I mean, for someone if you're a golfer out there that has always believed that shoulder needs to stay back 
and the right hand is working down, even Tiger Woods, Tiger, give me a call, I can help you game. If you can move that right shoulder forwards and get that left leg firing up, you will absolutely start to mobilize the speed around the golf ball to hit down from the inside and a straight face to path. My passion to get you playing the very best golf makes me emotional because I love this game and I want you to play the game that you deserve and get rid of this absolute garbage that I'm seeing prolific on social media. I think you'll find that, my friends, is good golf coaching.